Hello there. Good morning and welcome to another day. Uh, we're here in a city called Jantung, part of the Yunnan province, and the westerners call it Shangri-La. And it's uh, very cold and uh, wet compared to yesterday's day in Dali, which was uh, 30 degrees. It's now 6 degrees, hence why I'm dressed in like six different layers plus a scarf. And I've already uh, woken up to be extremely sick. So I have somehow received a virus and I have very bad throats, sore headaches and sore tummy. So today we're actually gonna go off and I'm gonna see as much as I can because there's no point in sitting home or in the apartment or the, the hostel and being sick. So I'm gonna go out and see what we can find and then uh, decide whether I actually stay here for another few days because <laughs> I don't know if I can live it. I need warmer weather. Let's get into it. But before I jump on our adventures, I had to make sure I got some nice hot food and a good coffee inside me to make me feel at least a bit better so that my throat isn't gonna kill me the whole day. So I'm all set to go. Let's go see some temples. Oh, yum. So the first temple we're gonna be hitting is that one called the Sum Ten Singling Monastery. So we're gonna catch a bus and that goes all the way up the hill. It's about a 20 minute drive up into the mountains where the large temples are on display. So let's get into it. I have no idea what to expect. So I've arrived and I've got through the main gate and we've got this long walk up these huge steps into the actual main palace up the top and on either side of these, uh, on this uh, main causeway, I guess you could say, are all these small individual temples which actually are active. There are, sorry, I'm out of breath, it's cold, I feel sick. <laughs> There's a lot of uphill, but there's uh, monks in all of these uh, temples on the side, so you can actually go in without a camera and uh, watch them in their procession, so that's pretty cool. But now, the steps. <sighs> This place is absolutely phenomenal. I just walked out of a uh, big temple where at least 200 monks, uh, Buddhist monks, were all dressed in their robes and they just finished a procession. And they came out and they're all smiley and happy and real bubbly and it's so cool to see just their, their calmness, their oh, tranquility. They were just such lovely kind people who said ni hao and hello and were more than happy to speak to us and see how our day was so that's cool but look at just the buildings are absolutely beautiful gold leaf on all the major statues and all the roofs and uh, this is quite the sight despite it a very cold and damp day it's like five four degrees up here in the mountains now and as you can see we are really <laughs> up in the mountains now so yeah time to head down and go check out another one of the temples which is more down in the main city center rather than high up here in the heavens. I've arrived now at the second major temple here and this thing is just as amazing as the other. The big uh, spinning, um, what we call good fortune wheel thing is just over the top amazing and all the gold leaves buildings and all these very stylized and very unique Tibetan styled uh, 
Oh, that's warm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Style of displays. Very, very familiar for like Nepal, Himalayas, and of course, Far Cry 4. So this thing is just, wow, look at it all. Look at it all. Oh, I'm still horribly sick. And we're pretty high up now in the mountain because we had to climb up this uh, giant staircase to get up here. But uh, I'll turn it around so it's a better view for you. But yeah, the, the air is very thin at the moment. You really struggle to breathe, especially when you walk up the giant steps. But this place is incredible. Let's go check out some more. Oh, and before I go check out more, how majestic was that dog? He was so adorable. So it's obviously night time and I just had a lovely chicken, fries and rice dinner. But now I can hear the music in the background at the big square that we were at earlier. So I'm going to go check it out now because last night they actually had these really awesome dances going on with the whole town getting together and doing something awesome. So I'm praying they're still doing that and I'll try to get some awesome footage of it because it's really cool. So I'm going to hurry. And with that, the last song plays and everyone disperses. That's just like one of the coolest things to see in a little square like that. And there you go, it's time out, everyone's off to go home. But what a cool way for them to finish up the day and get a final stretch before going to bed. This has been a cool day.